The collapse of Thomas Cook sent shockwaves across the industry. The Greek Tourism Confederation says economic losses for the country's businesses might be up to 500 million euros. Hotels in Cyprus estimate their losses for the recent months at around 50 million euros. Tunisian hotels at around 60 million euros. Turkish authorities said they would shortly provide a credit support package for tourism firms. Meanwhile, the authorities in the UK are not going to step in. They think there is no point in bailing out Thomas Cook as it would have been a waste of taxpayers' money. It's not right that the taxpayer should bail out every company that um, fails and it would, it would create enormous moral hazard, in fact, if we were to simply stand behind every company that fails. There would be no incentive for the board to manage the company properly. Thomas Cook's bosses now face scrutiny as part of an investigation into the tour operator's collapse. Top managers have been paid tens of millions of euros in salaries and bonuses over the past years. Who covers the insurance costs? So we do expect uh, the vast majority of customers to get their money back. So whether that you get the money back through the Civil Aviation Authority, if you booked a package that included flights, or if you booked a package that didn't include flights, APTA will give you a refund because Thomas Cook was a member of APTA. There's also the option of using your credit card. If you pay more than £100 on a credit card, you can get a refund that way. And some travel insurance policies will also pay out. One man's loss is another man's gain. Travellers who are trying to rebook holidays are accusing airlines and travel firms of hiking prices following the collapse of Thomas Cook. Also, a group of international hedge funds who bet against Thomas Cook could have made big profits from its collapse, more than 200 million euros, according to some estimates. Sasha Vakulina, Euronews.